the conversation at Joe Burrow and Chase Young is just getting started, uh, right? Who should you take? Who should you take? Chase Young, Ohio State Buckeye. Joe Burrow, formerly Ohio State Buckeye. Cincinnati Bengals, bum team in Ohio, although they had a lot of wins not too long ago, could never really get over the hump. They bring in a new coach, and they try to win, and they stink worse than the team that everybody thought was going to try to lose. They're at a bad place right now. They don't have an indoor practice facility. Former greats of the game retired from there because they just didn't want to be associated with the franchise anymore. More, and nothing has changed in the front office department since those days. So to think that this team could potentially trade away the face of their franchise for at least the next 15 years, an Ohio stud, an Ohio star, a kid that went from throwing 16 touchdowns to 60 touchdowns because he ran an NFL-style offense instead of a college-style offense, to think that this guy who seems to be cool in all situations, a guy that loves Ohio, a guy that would relish the opportunity to turn around the Bengals, to think that the Bengals would choose not to pick that person is something that the Bengals could do. Nobody would be surprised if they did. But honestly, complete buffoonery for anybody else with a brain outside of the Bengals organization to even talk about. You take Joe Burrow and you ride that Burrow wave for the next 10 years there's going to be some bad times early I assume that team's not just going to turn around overnight but he's a guy that has grit he's a guy that has talent he's a guy that has a mentality that you want to have at quarterback and Joe Burrow is going to take them to places that the Bengals have never been unless you plan on taking Chase Young and tanking for Trevor Lawrence you take Joe Burrow so you would take Joe Burrow over Trevor Lawrence or you would take Trevor Lawrence over Joe Burrow not after that national championship that's what I'm saying so then you're tanking for a guy that you could have this year what if the Dolphins offer all three of their first rounders for the number one? You take it. You take that. Think you have to, don't you? Yep. And then you just become the Bengals in perpetuity. You forever. You're the Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> you get to it. You get to it five and then you uh, have Andy play out his last year of his contract and then Tua takes over in the uh, Andy Dalton posted a photo on his Instagram of him smiling I'm happy to see that because Andy Dalton has been a victim of circumstance there at the Bengals for the last few years people forget Andy Dalton winning quarterback in the NFL Winning quarterback. Somehow, some way, there was something that was mentioned the other day on my Twitter because a couple of Chicago blogs posted my uh, my quote. I mean, I was making fun of Zito during the quote, but they took that out of the conversation and just put my words. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of put me in a bad spot. But, I mean, I mean, I still kind of believe it. We said this last year. We thought that the Bears should try to make a move for Cam Newton last year. Whenever it was Kyle Allen and Will Greer and that whole thing was happening, Christian McCaffrey became the face of the Panthers and Cam Newton was sitting down there. I thought that the Bears should make a move for Cam Newton. I still think they should potentially yeah. make a move for Cam Newton or another quarterback. What was mentioned in my mentions after that quote was just pulled and put into place there by a couple blogs, Andy Dalton potentially ends up at the Chicago Bears. Andy Dalton gets moved out because they have Joe Burrow and then the Bears potentially pick him up as a quarterback. Would you rather have Andy Dalton or Mitchell Trubisky I would hammer the handsome ginger 10 times out of 10 over Mitchell mm -hmm. Trubisky Andy Dalton without I mean, question well hello there utilize the promo code pay the bills and get $20 off your first order from Seeking. now back to the magic before this year his record was 68 and 50 a lot better than uh, a lot of football players out there. He went on to win like nine games straight for like three years in a row or something, Andy Dalton. In the Cincinnati Bengals, you got to remember, this is a place that doesn't have an indoor facility. In Cincinnati, Ohio, it's not just the fact that they don't have an indoor facility. Think about that. Think about that. If there's a lightning, you can't, what do you do? You'll practice in the gym? <laughs> like, wait, wait, oh, we got to delay practice five hours today. Because, I mean, that's just something you have to, for Andy Dalton to be as successful as he's been able to be at the Bengals. And I think, by the way, we should give Marvin Lewis a lot more credit, too, for being able to win there. I don't think that ever gets accounted for. I mean. Never in the playoffs. Yeah, you, know, you hate him. But it is one of those things where that Bengals franchise seems like maybe a, a doomed franchise, and they were able to win a lot of games there for a while with a lot of players that not a lot of other people wanted. Pac-Man Jones was there. Nobody else wanted him. He went to the Pro Bowl a couple of times. Andy Dalton went to the Pro Bowl a couple of times. They had teams over there. Hushman Zada was over there for a little bit. <laughs> Von says perfect. Oh, Excuse you. On. Sorry. Are you okay? Thank you. Bless you. Yeah. Appreciate the concern. Vontez Burfecht was there. <laughs> I mean, they had a lot of players there for a long time, and they were able to win games in spite of the Bengals themselves. But Andy Dalton is a guy who could potentially move, but it may be him sitting in front of Tua for a year, just like we were thinking with Ryan Fitzpatrick sitting, uh, having Tua sit behind him for a year. I think Tua sitting, getting healthy behind a veteran quarterback is a good idea. I think Andy Dalton is a guy that he could sit behind him and learn from and become better. Yeah, I mean, that organization, A.J. Ground, A.J. Green got hurt this year because they had to go practice on some Mickey Mouse field. That, is that real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That's, see, this is 2020. The NFL has been making billions and billions of dollars for a long time now. And it's an agreement about all of them make money. Like if you if they sell no Bengals jerseys, they still make money off of 30 other teams' merchandise sales. Now the Cowboys, Jerry Jones has negotiated his own deal where he only pays himself, which is hilarious that he's been able to do that. But everybody else has a licensing agreement together, so they're still making money regardless of how good their team is, regardless of how many stars they have or jerseys they sell or tickets they sell. They're still making money because the league is making money off these TV rights, and they still have yet to really be a professional operation. And that, to me, is hilarious in 2020 that the other owners haven't gone like, hey, man, you you kind of stink at your job. Dude. Like, is there any way you can maybe hand off the power to somebody else and they can do it? The Brown family's like, absolutely not. We're going to run these tigers right into the ground if we possibly can. <laughs> and that's what they'll do. I think they'll do that until they can. Mm -hmm. I'm happy Joe Burrow's going there, though. I think Joe Burrow's going to be a good Bengal. It's the right spot for him. He's got a face against Lamar Jackson, a skinny Ben Roethlisberger, and maybe a new Baker Mayfield with Kevin Stefanski. Is the AFC North all of a sudden the most electric division in football? After seeing Baker at that fight, I don't know who's who's bigger, him or Ben. Like, oh, we are not a body Whoa. shaming show, oh Tony. You hear me? I didn't wasn't body shaming. Well, there's been a lot of body shaming last night. I've about always Zion. said that Fat Ben is a better Ben. We because he's more carefree Ben yeah. and he's happy Ben. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just stand back there and take. The guy just bounce off. 